think he recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas? Man. She been waiting to drop that shit on Meek. Oh. Hold up, did Meek Mill really force Nicki Minaj into having freak off with him? And Diddy Child, y'all might want to get a chair for this one because Nicki Minaj just stepped into the chat and revealed the disturbing details about why she decided to run away from Diddy after just a few months of him being her manager. According to her, Diddy tried to recruit R. Her into becoming one of his industry for his freak off parties, but she turned it down, and this really pissed him off. In fact, Jaguar Wright seemingly confirmed this not too long ago when she claimed Nicki lived in fear of Diddy for a very long time because he tried to curse her into being one of his freak off assets at the start of her career. Unfortunately for Nikki, she wasn't free from him for much longer. Because right after she and Meek started dating, Meek sent her right back to Diddy. And she was forced to witness and partake in some very sinister things. Jaguar even went as far as to claim that Nikki is the one who leaked the audio of Meek screaming for his life while getting pounded by Diddy. And that she has a tell-all documentary that never got released because Diddy and Meek pulled some strings to stop it from ever coming out now. For those of y'all who don't know what's going on, Nicki Minaj was recently dragged into this whole mess with Diddy and Meek after. People discovered that she's in a lot more of this drama than we initially. But it all started after Meek was incriminated and then saw a lawsuit filed against Diddy by music producer L. Rod. L. Rod alleged in his lawsuit that Diddy had several boy toys in the industry that he would often sleep with in exchange for favors, and allegedly Meek and Usher were a couple of them. Now Lil Rod didn't explicitly mention Meek and Usher's names. But he gave a detailed description about them that made it a little too easy to point out who he was talking about. He described Meek as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki and described Usher as a male R&B singer who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency now. I don't think I need to tell y'all this. But Meek is definitely a rapper from Philadelphia. And he dated Nicki Minaj from 2015 to 2017. Usher also just had a very successful Vegas residency which reportedly grossed over $100 million. And he did in fact perform at the Super Bowl this year. So as you can already imagine, this immediately sent the internet into a frenzy. And people at both Meek and Usher's social media pages demanding for them to address these allegations Usher much ignored all the commotion. But Meek, on the other hand, was spiraling on Twitter and fighting off everybody in their mama who dared to question his sexuality. I would trash any celebrity. If they tried a wild move on me, no pics, literally go crazy on them, that's all. I'm from Philly man, all my guys always watch me around this wild industry. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions, they're designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me though you really got to me, and I will still get bigger after death. This god not me me continued I'm from Philly, I don't do or freaky ass molly, nobody won't even offer me because I'm that heavy no man, or why whatever approach me about no gay activity and the whole. Please don't get flipped woke up seeing this on every blog like they know how I'm coming lol. Unfortunately for me, none of these paragraphs types were enough to save him from what was about to come out. Because just a few minutes after this rant, an extremely disturbing audio of me getting pounded by Diddy leaked on social media. And this pretty much confirmed to everybody that he was in fact Diddy's boy toy. You're probably going to think I'm exaggerating when I say this. But Meek was literally screaming at the top of his lungs and it sounded like he was one breath away from literally losing consciousness. But Diddy didn't care and still had that man bend over pounding his cheek. <laughs> there not being any visual proof that it was Meek and Diddy, a lot of people believed it because it sounded exactly like him. Not only that. But people also brought up this old video of Meek in the pool at Diddy's house with his butt slightly curved up as if he was trying to ease some pain or something. While Diddy recorded him and congratulated him for putting in that work he what's up king son man, you doing it man, you deserve it daddy, you putting in that work proud of you I love you yeah. Oh, but it doesn't stop there because it was also later revealed that the audio was leaked by Diddy's ex-bodyguard according to the bodyguard the incident happened a few years ago at one of Diddy's parties. What's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Now this is where things get even more spicy. Because just when we thought we had uncovered the entire truth about this case, Jaguar stepped into the chat and revealed that the audio was actually leaked by Nicki Minaj back when she was with Meek. Jaguar even went as far as detailing the exact location that the freak-off party happened that night. She claims that Nikki didn't release this audio earlier because she was scared that Diddy would attack her. But since everything is out now, she decided to secretly leak the audio. Jaguar also claimed that the ex-bodyguard who initially said he recorded it was P.I.D. by Nikki's team to take the blame so that the leak wouldn't be traced back to Nikki. 
champagne was spiked, son. Like all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink. So I was playing that shit off like I don't drink. I smoke. Like I smoke and I had my own. But like everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes. I put my ear to the door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard struggling to take. I heard being like, yeah, daddy, like when, when I when, when he started call, all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling, like, yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all this because I was like, this nigga Diddy bitch. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike, on more than one occasion. Now, even though what Jaguar is saying might sound wild to some of y'all, it actually makes a lot of sense. Because if y'all remember, Nikki kind of hinted at Meek being DL some years ago on her Queen Radio show while going off on the people who were telling her she should have stayed with Meek instead of marrying Kenneth Petty. Oh. And if eat milk, running the f ramp, talking about expensive pain, no. in his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jag. F me. Wait a minute. He's a f***ing Fruit Loop. He diddy five. This is Philly. He's a deep fried period. <laughs> he diddy five. He diddy fried. He the diddy do I bop. F*** me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was f*** him. <laughs> f Nikki put that up to here. That, that Nikki recorded that at the freak off. In the Calabasas. Man. She been waiting to drop that shit on Meek. Oh. She just wasn't going to tell nobody it was Diddy. But now that Diddy out there, why not? So then who's the guy who's claiming he recorded it? Oh, uh, somebody bouncer. that got paid? Yeah, he said, like, I was yeah, standing somebody outside the that door. Got paid. And if y'all remember, she and Soulja Boy were on IG Live together just about a year ago when she randomly decided to ask Soulja if he could name some of the DL rappers. People speculate that she was talking about Meek in particular in this live. You think there are a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? Oh, oh, no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. Oh, don't know. We don't know about that. Okay, because I do. You said what? Oh, I said I do. But um, what makes this entire situation even worse is that after Meek was done getting pounded by Diddy, he would come home and take all that anger and frustration out on Nikki to make up for his damaged ego. Oh, like, that's why I'm like, maybe some people would describe me as a brave or or whatever, because I vowed from that age, no man would ever me call me out my name, treat me like that. And then all of a sudden, that was my life. Like I let one human being make me so loathe that like I didn't even remember who I was. I was scared to get in the studio like I, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't, in fact, back in 2021, Nikki was supposed to release her highly anticipated. Money can't, and, and a lot of, I ain't gonna say no names, but a lot of these rap, people, people that y'all want me to be with, be fake on the low gay, be uh, mentally and physically and verbally, be, be having eaten. <laughs> <laughs>